Aloha everybody and welcome to what I'm calling the North Shore Yoga Video Series. I'm calling it the North Shore Yoga Video Series because I've been teaching yoga for the past two decades on the North Shore of Oahu and basically these sequences evolved with the help of the participants there, with the help of the community there and really kind of became a style of its own. In the early days I you know, took teacher trainings from Ganga White, Tracy Rich, Kali Ray, Richard Freeman, Shiva Ray, and uh, attended a bunch of yoga journal conferences and whatnot. But then I just started teaching a lot at uh, Turtle Bay Resort and, and Waimea Valley and the rec center there at, at Pupakea. And it's the community that really helped to develop these sequences. Their feedback, as far as what worked and what didn't, is what created these sequences that I've come up with. So there'll be three sequences that I'm putting out. Ideally, one leads to the next and they all kind of make sense if you do them back to back to back. They can be done back to back to back or just one at a time. The first sequence, I put an emphasis on backbends. And don't let the word backbends scare you, especially if you're coming to the process with a bad back. I did too. I lived with the process with a, with a questionable, questionable spine. And that's why I keep doing yoga, basically because I want to keep surfing. And so I keep doing yoga. So we'll do them safely and I'll talk you through how to use the breath to get you from one position to another. I'll talk you how to approach the back bend safely and like any sequence that will also have forward bends and twists in it but the emphasis will be tapping into the life of the inhalation, the direction of the inhalation and the prana of the inhalation to make the back bend safe. The second sequence is, could directly follow the first sequence. It's a uh, definitely more of a stretchy, stretchy side of yoga sequence. It's a lot of hip openers, a lot of hamstring stretches, a lot of twists, a lot of forward bends, and it basically relies on the release of the exhalation. I call it the aponic session. So the first session is pranic and relies on the lift and the life and the mana and the energy that the inhalation gives you. The second one relies on the release, the elimination, the surrendering quality of the op exhalation gives you. And then that brings us to the third sequence, which is kind of a combination of both. There, it's, a, it's a sequence you just kind of check in and see how your yoga is developing. Just seeing if the positions are becoming easier for you. That's ultimately the goal, is for the positions to become easier so your body can use them and benefit from what each asana or position brings to your practice, what they bring to your life. So I'll be talking you through the first three segments I put out. There'll be a lot of dialogue, and then I'll shortly follow them up with sessions that don't have quite as much dialogue in them, and I'm gonna rely on you to safely approach the process. If you need to, check with the physician to make sure that they're right for your condition, and really just don't be competitive with yourself. Um, just take the time to kind of incrementally improve what you're starting with. Not everybody's super flexible, not everybody's super strong. We all have our strengths, our weaknesses, and, and so just take it one breath at a time, one position at a time. With that being said, the use of the breath is kind of important for the way I will sequence you from one position to the next. Ideally, you want to breathe in through your nostrils. That's why the nose is there. The hairs are there to filter the air, the mucous membranes are there to get the air to body temperature. So ideally you want to breathe in through your nostrils and let the inhalation low, land in your lower respiratory system first and then rise upwards. So there's an upward flow to your inhalation. And then the exhalation, ideally it flows the other way. First you empty the upper lungs, then mid lungs, and then lower lungs, and there's a downward flow to the exhalation. And that in itself is a little bit of work. So don't th let that be a, a you know, reason to stop doing the practice. If just breathe rhythmically, breathe steadily, and it'll all work. But ideally, we use that upward rising in breath to take us certain places. We use the downward releasing out breath to take us to other places, and that'll make just the process a lot easier and, and really create kind of a meditation of movement as you're going through the sequences. But then again, that's something that needs to develop over time, just like the asanas need to be developed over time. So, and with that being said, I just want to make sure that uh, everybody out there knows how thankful I am to the people who have come through 
and helped me to develop these sequences. This basically is a gift back to the uh, students that I've left behind. I, was now, I have now temporarily, possibly permanently re relocated to Australia and I've left behind a bunch of great people over there in Oahu and this is basically a gift back to them. It gives them a chance to have these sequences in their living room. It gives me a chance to pass this off to my friends and family and anybody else who wants to do yoga in, in, a, in a safe way and sequences that really have worked for me for the last two decades. I've gone through a lot of different stages in life. I started teaching in my 20s and made it through my 30s to my 40s and now I'm in my 50s and a version of these sequences are kind of what I've been keeping kept going with. So again thanks everybody for watching, listening, participating. This is for you. Enjoy and uh, and take take everything one breath at a time. One asana at a time and uh, hopefully you know, at the end of each session, you feel a little bit better, your mind's a little more clear, and you'll make better decisions with what to do with the rest of your day. Once again, thank you so much. So much aloha going out there. Namaste, peace, thanks, all that good stuff. Let's go.